Game on! And welcome to Board Game Society. My name is Martin. And my name is Jonas. And today we're sheep. We are sheep. And we are ready to go to war. Because the pasture is not big enough for both of us. And you, sir, you will taste my hoof. It's every herd for themselves. Because today we play the abstract game Battle Sheep. Having said that, let the battle begin. In the beginning of the game, each player takes a stack of sheep tokens of one color. Then the players take four of the pasture tiles each. Choose a player to be the first player. Now each player starting with the first player and then in clockwise order places one of their pasture tiles until all tiles have been placed. This creates the board. Starting with the first player, everyone now places their entire stack of sheep tokens on any unoccupied pasture along the outside border. Now the first player starts the game by making a move. To move, you split one of your own stacks into two parts and move the top part in a straight line as far as you can go until you hit the border or another sheep. You must always leave at least one sheep on the space where the original stack was standing. Then the players continue making their moves in clockwise direction. If you are surrounded by opponents or the edge and cannot make a move, you have been blocked. When no player can move, the game ends and the player controlling the most pastures is the winner. If there is a tie, the player who has the most sheep of his or her color on adjacent spaces wins the game. I like the artwork. I do too, actually. Yeah, but don't let the box cover fool you because, let's be honest, uh, the box cover looks like a children's game and it's not. If I were them, I would have done like, you know, the worms thing putting like helmets uh, on the sheep and giving them bazookas and hand yeah. grenades and stuff like that. Yeah. The box actually only comes with two components basically. Yeah. You, have, uh, you have the pasture tiles, which looks like some sort of field with grass and stuff. And we have these amazing little ships, like poker ships. Uh, they're easy to stack, uh, they're pretty heavy. Uh, and each ship shows, um, yeah, Different sheep. This is Dudley. Yeah. Yeah, it is. It's Dudley. And this is Herbert. And he's not... He's special, this one. He's a special sheep. Yeah. Mm. They all look pretty goofy and crazy. Yeah. And uh, it's, it's pretty nice to box someone in when the, the sheep looks like a smug idiot. Yeah, so the theme. Well, now you have heard me say this before. Uh, and I say it again. There is no theme in this game. There are illustrations. I like the illustrations. But do you ever feel like a sheep when you play this? Mm, no. It's an abstract game where you... Uh, move stacks of chips along the board. But then again we always do something with the, the sheep aspect. There are, there's a lot of battle cries like meh going on when we, yeah. place the, when we place the tiles. And we always tend to talk about how the sheep, how they look like. It's really really nice to box someone in with the Dudley, the douchebag sheep. And Herbert, the special sheep. Yeah. yeah. Once again the illustrations add something. But you never act, ever feel like a sheep. No. Which would be pretty cool if they made a game where you actually <laughs> could feel like a sheep. Yeah. So, yeah, so game play and mechanics. Well, uh, this <clears throat> is extremely easy to learn to begin with. You're absolutely right, because we had a totally newbie at board gaming with us uh, the other night, and uh, he got right into this. And he actually won, like the first time yeah. he played it. Yeah, so that's great. You have 16 sheep in your herd. Uh, and uh, you can split up your stack however you like when you move them. Like so? Yeah, uh, for you to uh, have more strategic uh, choices in the future. Yeah, and that's a great opportunity, but it could also get you in trouble because you can only move one stack each turn and that gives your opponents a lot of... Um, um, yeah, they, they could box you in, basically. Yeah. So that's, that's a bit problematic, but it it's is. risky business. It is a great filler game, and it's a great uh, evening starter. Uh, when you, you get your uh, 
you get your battle juices flowing. <laughs> mm? Don't you have battle juices? I do, all yeah. the time. <laughs> <laughs> the replayability is a great thing in this game also. Uh, two boards are, uh, never look the same. No. Don't let the box cover fool you, because this is a really grown-up, cutthroat type of strategic game, uh, which is fast to play. Yeah. Yeah. It's awesome. Battleship. Battleship. <laughs> you had me.